Hi, I'm Robert. Welcome back to another on the road video brought to you by ApplianceVideo.com. Stop. Before you begin any repair, unplug the appliance from the wall outlet. It is also recommended that you check for proper voltage. Remember to also turn off the gas. To complete this repair, you will need a number two Phillips screwdriver and a 5 16 nut driver. Today we're working on an Amana gas dryer. Customer's complaint is noisy operation. We found the drum support rollers to be defective. To access this component, you must first remove the lint screen. Now let's pull the lint screen and we'll remove the two number two Phillips screws that lock the top down to the air duct. And then we will put our foot against the bottom right corner of the dryer and pull the right rear of the lid towards us and pull up as we do that. We're gonna repeat that on the left side. Now that our top is loose, I'm gonna lay a protective cover across the top edge or front edge and lean the top all the way back against the wall. Now with the top propped up, we have access to the two 5 16 panel screws located on either side at the top. We're going to remove those. Set those aside. Disconnect our Molex plug. And now you want to lift up on the side and let the panel come forward. And you got to do that for both sides. And pull the panel straight out. Now with the front panel removed and we have clear access to the internal components, we're going to remove the drum. First, we need to release the belt from the motor shaft by pulling the idler back and peeling the belt off of the motor pulley. Let the idler rest. And then we're gonna grasp the top of the belt and lift the belt and the drum off of its support rollers and slide it out. And your drum is removed. We'll set that aside. Now with the drum removed, we have clear access to the drum support rollers. We're gonna start with the left side. What you wanna do is first remove the heat shield, which is held in place with two 5 16 screws, one on the base on the floor, the other one on the rear bulkhead. Once these screws are removed, we're gonna lift up and out and the heat shields removed we'll set that aside next you want to remove a single 5 16 screw from the base of the support bar for the drum support roller now we're going to remove a compression washer the easiest way to do that is to use the bar to get it to move a little bit at a time right off the shaft. And we'll set that aside. Now, you'll need a small flat blade screwdriver or a pair of forceps. You wanna get underneath the tri-ring and lift one side of it and bring it over the axle. And then you can rotate it 
and lift the next side of the tri ring and peel it off. We set that aside and the drum support roller slides right off. Now we'll move on to the right side roller. The right side roller is a lot easier. There's no surrounding metals to remove. We're simply going to peel the tri ring off of the roller shaft. Set that ring aside and the roller is removed. Now that we have a new set of drum rollers, let's go ahead and install them. I'm going to slide the roller over the left shaft, get your tri ring positioned and pop one edge over and then the other two. You see that it spins freely. Next, we're going to get the support bracket in place. And then we'll push the compression washer on. And we'll line up our screw holes. And reinstall the screw into the support bracket. Bring our heat shield back into play. Slip the tab through the rear bulkhead and bring it down in place. Reinstall the 516th screw in the rear bulkhead. And then one down on the base. and your drum support roller is installed. Now we'll move on to the right. Now that we have a new drum roller, let's go ahead and install that. Slide that right over the shaft. Give it a spin, make sure it turns freely and reinstall the tri ring by simply pressing it over the front of the shaft. Remember, you want to replace these as a set. They come two to a package. One roller may not look like it's damaged, but trust me, you'll be doing yourself a service by replacing them both at the same time. Now we can reinstall the drum. Now let's go ahead and install the drum. First, what we'll do is we'll flip the top up and give us extra room. Then we'll grasp the belt and the drum and we will slide it in and set it on the rollers. And rotate the drum so that the felt seal seats against the back bulkhead. Now we'll take our idler pulley. We're gonna tilt the drum up and we're gonna get the front edge of the bracket into the slot in the base of the cabinet and then rock it back so that the little clips go down in the slot provided. Then we're gonna route the belt over the top of the pulley itself and then slip it through the hole under the pulley. And then pull back on the idler assembly. Hmm. 
and slip the belt over the motor pulley and peel it around and the idler is installed. We can now reinstall the front panel. The front panel has square holes at the bottom that are going to rest on these clip hooks on the front sides. So what we're gonna do is we're going to press the front against the drum and bring the panel close to the hook Slide it down onto the hook. Then do the same thing on the opposite side. Then push back on the drum and push the panel in. Pull forward on the drum to make sure it's seated on the felt seal. Now that the drum is seated on the front felt seal, we're going to install our two 5 16 screws. We'll get our first screw in on one side and then the other. Now that our screws are in place, we'll connect our Molex plug for the door switch. And now we can drop the top and install the two number two Phillips screws that lock the top to the air duct for the lint filter. Now when installing these two number two Phillips screws, you wanna kinda line the holes up and start them by hand. Get one started and then finish it off with your driver because if that screw falls down into that duct, you're gonna to have to disassemble the entire back again to get it out. And now we can reinstall the lint screen. And that completes the repair. Thank you for watching another quality video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.